so today I want to do an old lead. And uh, this will be good practice for Jenna. We're going to move some old leads over to you. Monica, yesterday I moved a bunch of three week to about six week old leads too. And so <clears throat> what is an old lead? An old lead is essentially a person that was on our website. Um, and for whatever reason, we weren't able to sell them a home. You know, maybe they just were browsing. Maybe they bought a home through a different agent. Maybe they, um, maybe they just stopped looking or maybe they decided to renew their lease or maybe they decided to stay in their existing home. And so um, what happens is our database grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And so these old leads are tremendous opportunities. As a matter of fact, when we have um, a big group of apprentices, we just have them calling hundreds of old leads. And the script is relatively simple. Um, it's just um, it's basically a courtesy call, uh, just checking in on you. It's been on our website for a while now and we want to make sure you're being taken care of. We want to make sure that uh, your real estate needs are, are, are being met. Um, so uh, we've seen old leads, like three-year-old leads, five-year-old leads turn into million-dollar listings, turn into you know, $100,000 uh, sales. And so you know, every person is an opportunity. The tendency is in the average, the average real estate company, once a lead becomes old, they just kind of forget about it. You know, they, they kind of focus all their time on the brand new leads. So. Um, you know, there's a ton of gold, like I like to say, in those databases. So, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, good morning. Uh, may I speak to Miss Rosa Sanchez, please? Um, this is she. Hi, good morning, Rosa. Uh, my name is Carl Bishop. I'm with AE Realty. And, uh, I, you know, you've been on our website for, gosh, almost a year now. It looks like at one point you were looking at some houses in the 78251 zip code. And Ms. Sanchez, I'm curious, did you ever find a home in that area? You know, I didn't. It's just I don't seem to have much time. And um, I, I have enjoyed looking at the properties, but I just haven't really had much time to, to advance that. Okay. Well, we certainly appreciate you uh, looking on our site. You know, I actually get that quite often. We, you know, we stay so busy these days, it's hard to find time to get into a home. Uh, but if you don't mind me asking, Rosa, are you currently renting or do you own the home that you're living in now? I'm currently renting. Okay, great. And are you in an apartment or a home? What kind of uh, rental are you in right now? It's a townhome. Townhome, very nice. And how long have you been at that uh, townhome for? Oh goodness, about six years. Six years, that is quite a good stretch. Um, have you ever owned a home in the past? Yes, before when I was married, but I am a, a single mother now and needed to work on credit. And okay, okay. But you would like to get a home of your own at some point, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and what are you currently paying in monthly rent at the townhome? Uh, 1500 Oh my gosh, that is a lot of money. Um, if you did find your own townhome, uh, would you want to keep your payment around the same or would you be willing to go a little bit higher for your own property or maybe even a, a little bit lower to save some money? I would be comfortable with about the same if I could get into something that would be my own and my kids. Okay. Yeah, for about that same monthly payment, I mean, you could afford a townhome or a small home or even a larger home around the range of 190 to 200,000. Um, so I'm, I'm curious, uh, Ms. Sanchez, I know you've been there for a while. Are you in a lease right now or is it more of a month to month type situation? I am in a month to month. You're in a month to month, okay. And so I know you mentioned that uh, you didn't have a whole lot of time. I imagine you stay busy with work. Is that a fair statement? Yes, I have um, a business and that keeps me busy as well as the kids. Oh, very cool. Uh, what kind of business are you in? I own a house cleaning business. Wow. Well, that's uh, convenient because we sell houses and we uh, manage houses and uh, we help people buy a lot of houses. So we need to talk more about your house cleaning business. How long have you been doing that for? Oh goodness, about 10 years. 10 years, all right, great. So you kind of do make readies um, or just kind of weekly cleanings or monthly cleanings for folks? It's primarily weekly cleanings. Interesting, interesting. Well, are you taking on more business, Ms. Sanchez? Uh, always. All right, well, we certainly need to talk. Uh, because we are in need of a home cleaning services company. 
Um, we do have a couple people we've worked with over the years, um, but we need more uh, because you know they get busy and you know it's it's always ha better to have great contacts there. So I want to talk to you about your business, but uh, before we get into that more, you mentioned uh, having some kiddos. Um, are are they currently in school or um, not quite in school yet? Yes, they are in school. Okay, what ages are they? I've got two in high school. One is 17. One is 14, and then I've got my nine-year-old. Okay. Would you want to keep them in the same school district uh, if you ended up getting a, a townhome of your own? I really would. Okay. Um, it's important for them for the high school, I believe. Of course, especially high school. Yeah, I know that. I've got a high schooler as well. And um, yeah, he really wants to stay at his, his school. What school are they going to currently? To uh, Stevens. Stevens, okay. It's a good school, actually. Um, several of my colleagues' kids go there, and actually I lived on that side of town for a while. Um, so there's going to be a lot of options. There's even some pretty decent townhome options in that uh, area. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to help you put together a plan so you can get out from that rental where you're spending $1,500 a month and buying somebody else's real estate and take that same $1,500 a month and start purchasing your own real estate. As you may remember from your previous experience of owning a home, uh, that's a way that you can build equity and build savings and that's the position that we want to get you in. You mentioned that you stay pretty busy. Is there any day of the week that you typically take off or uh, do you work all seven? Normally on Sundays, I am I am have more time. Sundays have more time. Okay, perfect. Um, so I've got my Sunday calendar open here. Um, this Sunday coming up, it looks like I've got some time around uh, either uh, 1 p.m. in the afternoon, or we could go a little later, around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. What time would be better for you on Sunday? You know, 1 p.m. But I'm um, I'm not sure that I would qualify because of my credit. Okay. Well, tell me about that. When was the last time you checked it? Have you applied for something recently? No. After the divorce, I um, I kind of slowly paid off my debt, and I don't have. I really don't have much credit right now. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, certainly understand, and um, it's it's a fairly common uh, issue that I run into. Uh, what I do want to give you is some good news that you don't really have to have great credit to be able to get into a good home loan. Um, as a matter of fact, most people that I speak to that uh, have credit challenges uh, usually are much closer than they think that they are. And so um, what I'd like to do is invite you to the office for a free consultation. We'll sit down together for about 30, 45 minutes. We'll talk about some of those credit issues. I may be, offer, be able to offer you some solutions and refer you some companies and people that can help you build your credit. Or you may be pleasantly surprised that you're a lot closer than you think you are. You know, that's okay. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. So I have an office over here off of Days of Zavala and I-10 area. Are you familiar with the area? Yes, I am. Okay. So we're about two and a half blocks west of I-10 on De Zavala. We're just past the post office on the left-hand side. I'm going to email you. I've got your uh, email here as rosasanchez at gmail.com. Is that still a good one for you? Yes. I'm also going to text you my address. I'm looking forward to meeting you, Ms. Sanchez. You've been renting that uh, townhome, uh, let's say, for around 1500 a month for the last six years. And my gosh, you've spent uh, a tremendous sum on rent. And I'm looking forward to helping you get a plan in place so the next six years will go back into your pocket in terms of equity. So if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach back to me. And uh, we'll see you on Sunday, OK? OK, thank All you. Right. See you then. So yeah, that was a great. Uh, um, conversation. What I find is with a lot of people, I mean, this is a, a very common theme where they feel they don't have good enough credit or they feel like they need a, a really big down payment. And this lady uh, was spending 1500 a month on rent. I mean, that's a tremendous sum to go into somebody else's pocket to be paying off somebody else's investment. So it's not hard to build credit. It's not hard to fix bad credit. Uh, but a lot of people view it as like this huge obstacle that they'll never be able to achieve. And so by kind of eliminating some of those fears um, and getting them to come in, we'll come up with a plan. And many times the folks, we do help them uh, build their credit. What I found is personally in my experience, most people don't need credit repair. Most people just need some credit coaching. Um, so they may need to go out and get that secured credit card. Uh, maybe they can um, uh, get on as an authorized signer for one of their parents or one of their friends' accounts, which will boost their credit. Um, and one thing, too, a lot of people think, well, I need to pay that bill off from 10 years ago that, you know, 
um, that's been on my credit, it's like anything that's over two years on your credit report, don't pay. Don't touch. Because it's not gonna hurt you anyway. It's not gonna affect you negatively anyway. So that's why I like to tell people is look, if you have a bill or something in collections that's two years old or older, just keep dodging that person. Cause I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to pay those old bills. I mean, if you wanna settle with them at some point in the future, that's great, that's on you. But for now, we need to get you in a position where you're not spending that $1,500 a month on someone else's investment and it's going back to you and it doesn't serve you or help you to pay off old bills. As a matter of fact, what I've seen is people that pay off old bills that are in collections, it actually hurts your credit score because now they open the file back up yeah. and they settle with it and now all of a sudden your credit score drops. So it's just basically kind of sharing that information with people and understanding what their needs are. And in many cases, when I get people in and we actually look at their credit, they're actually decent. You know, they're at, you know, they're at 600, 610, 620. They think their credit's terrible and they're actually good to go. I mean, last year, Gene and I had a gal where she was, I have terrible credit. I've done, there's no way I can do it. She's paying 1800 a month in rent. I said, well, let's talk about it. You're probably not that far off. And if you are, we're going to help you get it up. We came in, she had a 650 credit score, wow. which is a great, I mean, you, you should qualify for all down payment assistance programs. Uh, and an FHA loan and so we got her into a beautiful home for less money than she would have paid in rent the following month. It was a beautiful thing. She was crying at the closing. Uh, Jean was, you know, our agent Jean was just uh, super excited and happy that she could help this lady who had been renting for six years, spending, you know, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars a month in rent and, you know, just making somebody else rich. And so now she has her own home and she's paying sixteen hundred a month in rent and she's making an investment in herself, in her future, in her family, in her kids. So um, that's what we can do for people. And it just starts by saying, hey, you know what? And, and a lot of agents out there, when a person says, I have terrible credit, they're okay, I'll call you later, or they just exit from that phone call. Yeah. We want to meet with everybody. I don't care if you have a 300 credit score. I don't care if you don't have a job. I don't care if you just are the furthest away from buying a home possible. I still want to meet with you, and I still want to add value to you. Because at some point, you need to get into a home. At some point, we want to put you in a position to, to make that investment in yourself. And at the end of the day, we're the office of choice for learning-based people committed to adding value to people's lives. Not adding value only to people that have money, not adding value to only people that have 700 credit scores, not adding value to people that have huge down payments. We're about adding value to all people. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time.